This is Food for Thought. On June 24th, today, is called St. John the Baptist Day. As we know, John the Baptist was a religious leader. John was an itinerant preacher and a major religious figure in Christianity, Islam, the Bahami faith, and Mandarism. John is described as having the unique practice of baptism for the forgiveness of sin. He was born in Herodian Kingdom. He died at Mactoris, Jordan. His full name, John the Baptist, buried in Armenian, Moscow, Damascus, Syria. Parents, Zechariah and Elizabeth. As we all know from the Bible stories, John the Baptist was a most distinctive character who wore wild clothing, lived in the desert on locusts and honey, and preached a strange message. He was considered the forerunner of Jesus Christ. John the Baptist's name in Hebrew, Johanna, Ha M Mabo, Christian and Arabic. John the Baptist is also mentioned by the Jewish historian Josephus. We know that John the Baptist was beheaded. We also know that John the Baptist's mother, Elizabeth, was a kinswoman of Mary, who visited Elizabeth while she was pregnant with Jesus. We also know that John was the son of Zechariah and Elizabeth, being of priestly descent through both parents. This lineage was essential since John was the embodiment of the law of Moses, designed to prepare the way for the Messiah and make ready a people to receive him. He was the outstanding bearer of the Arianic priesthood in all history and was entrusted with its most noble mission. His forecoming birth and nature of his ministry was announced to John's father by the angel Gabriel in Luke 1, 5-25. He was a child of promise with prophecies of his mission having been given by Isaiah in Isaiah 40 and 3 and Malachi in Malachi 3 and 1. You can also see Nehemiah 10 and 7 through 10, Nehemiah 31, 4 through 8. He grew up in the desert until the time arrived for his ministry to prepare the way for the Savior. The sign of the dove as an emblem of the Holy Ghost was a pre-appointed signal by which John knew he was to recognize that he had baptized the Son of God. John 1, 29-34 At the time of the baptism of Jesus, John saw the sign and heard the voice of the Father bearing record that Jesus was the beloved Son, in whom the Father was well pleased. In Matthew 3, 13-17, he had preached and baptized for several months before he baptized the Savior and continued to do so afterward for several months in John 3, 23 through 24. At least two of those who were later to become members of the Twelve, John and Andrew, were disciples of John before they met Jesus in John 1, 35 to 42. 
it is probably that others of the twelve were also tutored by him in Acts 1, 21-22. He watched without feeling of jealousy, the waning of his own influence, and the growth of the influence of Jesus, John 3, 25-36. He was shut up in prison by order of Herod for criticizing Herod's unlawful marriage of Heronia in Mark 6, 16-29. While in prison, John sent two of his disciples to inquire of Jesus to reassure their faith. Many have thought this event reflected a lack of confidence in John's own mind. However, Jesus took the occasion to bear testimony of the great work John had done, emphasizing that he was unwavering and true. In Luke 7, 24-28, Jesus also pointed out that John had fulfilled the prophecy of Malachi 3, 1. Jesus praised John as a prophet, saying, There is none who was greater, in Matthew 11, 7-11. So you may believe, like many other Christians or unbelievers, that, you know, the devil's not real. We don't have to worry about Satan because um, he doesn't exist. But if we turn to Matthew chapter 11 and 12, it tells us, And from the day of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violence taken by force. So what is that telling us? <laughs> That's telling us that there was a war in heaven. And it started during the day of John the Baptist. And <clears throat> now we can understand that Satan is real. Nevertheless, we are not sure exactly when that war broke out because if you remember, we are formed before we are in our mother's womb, God knows us. So, the question I ask you is, did the war break out when we were formed in God's thought pattern amen this greatness consists of his unique privilege and the quality of his work he alone was entrusted with the mission of preparing the way and baptizing the savior of the world he did no miracles john 10 41 but magnificently fulfilled his assignment and bearing testimony of Jesus Christ. Jesus characterized John as a burning and a shining light in John 5.35. After nearly a year in prison, John was beheaded at the instigation of Heronius in Matthew 14, 3 through 12, and Mark 6, 17. A vigorous preacher, John taught many principles and doctrine of the gospel and filled his mission in every particular. Latter-day revelation confirms the biblical account and also makes known additional events in the ministry of John. We learn that he was ordained by an angel when he was eight days of age to overthrow the kingdom of the Jews and to prepare a people for the Lord. We learn also that he was baptized while well yet in his childhood. It is said on May 15, 1829, this same John came to Joseph Smith and Oliver Calgary near Harmony, Pennsylvania and ordained these men to the priesthood of Aaron. Thus, his ministry had operated in three dispensations. He was the last of the prophets under the law of Moses. 
He was the first of the New Testament prophets, and he brought the Arianic priesthood to the dispensation of the fullness of time. He was too old to be a disciple and too young to be an apostle. But John the Baptist was one of the greatest men alive. Father God, we thank you for allowing us to get more information about John the Baptist. We thank you for your people, Father, and we thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for the peace in Jerusalem. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen.